Saul Marquez here with the Outcomes Rocket, and today I have the pleasure of being with Jim Wilkie. He's the CEO and founder of Lowell Therapeutics. We're at the MedTech Innovator uh, Challenge, and uh, it's going to be really interesting to dive into your business, uh, Jim. So thanks so much for joining me. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, this is my fourth startup. Uh, I like the startup environment. It's a little more exciting than the big company environment. I was previously the uh, chief operating officer of a company called Pluromid. We developed two products and eventually sold the company to Sanofi. That provided a 6x return to seed investors and a 4.7x return to Series A. So that feels good. I, I would say so, especially if you're one of the investors. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so Jim, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your company today and what, what challenge you're solving for? Well, there are many patients in the ICU that have to go on uh, an artificial kidney or an artificial lung. And when blood is circulated outside the patient, eventually it clots because they're on the machine 24-7. And so there are no anticoagulants today in the hospital that are appropriate for that patient. So we've developed an anticoagulant that's a short-acting small molecule. It anticoagulates blood only in the circuit and not in the patient. So it has a huge benefit that where you don't have the fear of over-anticoagulating the patient. And when you use our product, you have longer filter lifespan, fewer filter changes, less blood loss, fewer platelet transfusions, and an easier time for doctors and nurses to manage the patient. When you're talking about a, a very technical uh, uh, procedure, or, or really a workflow, uh, you know, the things that you just mentioned to the common listener or viewer are just like, okay, but for those that are in the ICU, they totally get it, right? And so we're talking about overall uh, uh, consumable cost reductions, workflow improvements that you're referring to. But let's dive into like the, 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 the benefit to the patient. Tell us a little bit about how the pa patient benefits from this. Well, the biggest benefit is if you don't have to stop the machine to change a filter, the patient stays on therapy. And that's a, it sounds like a trivial point, but it's not. This is essentially life support, artificial kidney, artificial lung. So stopping the machine is a big deal. That's number one. Number two, when you change the filter, you throw away a lot of blood, and then you have to give the patient a transfusion. That's not an easy thing either. And so uh, to get them to heal faster, um, it's better to keep them on the machine without giving them, without blood loss and without transfusions. Also, what we've seen is a higher rate of conversion to intermittent dialysis away from continuous dialysis. That's another big advantage. Yeah, those are huge advantages, and so appreciate you diving into those. Uh, what inspires your work in healthcare? Um, I've been in healthcare since I graduated college, and so it feels good. When you, when you develop a product and commercialize it, and you stand in the hospital, and I, I would joke with my kids and say, I teach surgeons how to operate. But for a minute or two in the operating room, I do. And I get a charge out of that to be able to say, okay, I have something new. And almost all surgeons and all clinicians love that. They love to adopt new things that benefit themselves and the patient. That's a great uh, way to stay inspired and, and motivated in your work, Jim. Appreciate you sharing that. As, as the viewers uh, uh, listen to us, whether it be on their commute or at home, what call to action would you give to them? And uh, what would be the best place for them to visit you to learn more about your technology? Uh, well, ltx.life is the website. And really, we're, uh, I'm here to raise $10 million so that we can conduct a phase three clinical study and get FDA approval. And then patients will benefit from the product. So, Jim, who are your strategic investors? Like, tell us about who you're looking for and what types of relationships you're looking to develop out of, out of coming to places like this today. Well, for the strategics, it would be the large players in the ICU. Baxter, Fresenius, Next Stage, Medtronic, uh, Bebron. These are the companies that, that sell equipment and uh, sell pr disposables for, the, for this patient population. Um, so those would be the strategics that would be involved. Thanks for sharing that. But outside of them, you're open to anybody that sees the vision and is willing to invest in the idea that you have. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the benefit of this is the product is an anticoagulant. It works all the time. And we're heading into a phase three study. We have confirmed with the FDA that we're phase three ready. So um, the probability of success for us is very, very high at this point. Well, I want to congratulate you on the, on the hard work you and your team have invested into this and uh, definitely wishing you the best. All right. Thank you very much.